Hey boys, it's Arm Nun. Today we're gonna to be going over the 10 biggest wastes of money in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, there's gonna be some ones on this list that I don't think I've seen anybody else talk about on YouTube. I tried to think of some unique things for this list. I know everybody's gonna talk about, you know, you guys know what they're gonna talk about on these lists. So I really tried to think outside of the box here. Hopefully you guys like this video. So let's go ahead and get into it, starting off with number 10. Here at number 10, just to get this out of the way right away, we have the Yacht, the Luxor Deluxe, and the Swift Deluxe. All of these purchases are pretty much worthless unless you are super far into the game and literally have nothing else to spend your money on. Now, I already know that I'm gonna get the guys in the comments down below. I've got $17 billion modded on my GTA account, so I'm gonna buy them just because you told me not to. No one cares. No one cares, bro. Literally no one cares. The yacht is pretty much useless. I've had one since 2016 when they came out, I think, and I've, in the last year, I think I've been to it like three times, literally just to go to it. Um, and one of those times was to make a video about if you should buy the yacht or not. It's cool, but you're never gonna go to it. You're never really gonna use it. I would avoid it. The Swift Deluxe and the Lux Deluxe can take an additional homing missile compared to their non-deluxe counterparts. Uh, but the Swift Deluxe is $5.25 million and the Luxor is $10 million to purchase. So they're really expensive for absolutely no, oh, and you can drink champagne. You can, never mind, never mind guys, you should buy them. You can actually, you can drink champagne in the back of them. That's, that's the other unique feature, but you need somebody to fly it for you in order to do that. So if you play solo, then they're literally useless. Um, so yeah, don't buy the yacht, don't buy the Swift Deluxe or the Luxor Deluxe, unless you're one of these people that is super far into the game or you're one of these little modding nerds. That's it for number 10, On to number nine. At number nine, we have weapons that suck. Most of the new weapons that are added into Grand Theft Auto Online with these last few updates uh, have actually been pretty terrible. One that comes to mind is the precision rifle that costs over $400,000 and does less damage than the regular sniper rifle that you unlock when you first start the game. So th that's ridiculous. It sucks. It, it was we were all hoping that it was going to be like the Heavy Sniper Mark II too, but it's just literally worse than like the original sniper rifle. Do not buy the Precision Rifle, that thing sucks. There's also some new Assault Rifles that have been added into Grand Theft Auto Online. They also completely suck and they cost in excess of $300,000, sometimes over $400,000. The EMP launcher is another one that comes to mind. Um, I would say that that one is, it's, it's actually okay, but you're not really gonna use it very much and it costs over 400K as well. So there's just a lot of weapons that, that do really suck in the game. Uh, there's some really good ones like the Up and Atomizer. That is one that you should definitely own, but there's also ones like the Widowmaker, the Unholy Hellbringer, stuff like that. that just cost so much money and it is such a waste of money for new players. So just avoid weapons that cost a ton of money Go and do your research before you purchase any of these big, you know, big purchase weapons uh, that are gonna cost you anything over 100K, I would say. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's at least gonna be good. Yeah, avoid these weapons like the precision rifle. I think the heavy rifle might be one as well to avoid, um, as well as some other ones. There's, there's quite a few of the new rifles in the game that just completely suck. So avoid those for sure. I feel like this is one that people kind of overlook. At number eight, we have too many gun lockers and or weapon workshops and buying them in the wrong location. Now, this is gonna come into play because in several different vehicles, you have weapon workshops that you can put in as well as gun lockers. Now, gun lockers, you only need one of these. This is gonna allow you to make a custom weapon loadout. Now, if you purchase the weapon workshop within the agency, you're actually gonna get quite a few benefits and I would recommend only getting this weapon workshop. Firstly, you're gonna get a discount when purchasing all of your weapons and ammunition from inside of this place, which is very, very important and in the long run can save you an absolute ton of money. And you can also change your custom weapon loadout here. So in any other location other than your agency, there's no point in purchasing a gun locker or a weapon workshop. Now you could argue that, well, what if I need to go switch my loadout? St change your spawn location to the agency, join a new invite only session, go do what you need to do and and there you go, you're, you're done just like that. Also with some businesses, the gun locker is gonna cost a lot more um, in some businesses compared to others. For example, like if you buy a gun locker within your MC clubhouse versus within your CEO, versus within your CEO office, one of them is gonna cost a lot more than the other. I would just avoid it all. Just buy a weapon workshop within the agency. You're gonna get discounts on all your ammo and weapon purchases 
you're going to get access to a gun locker as well and a mark ii weapon workshop so it's really a, just a triple win definitely get the agency weapon workshop it is the number one place to go don't waste your time with anything else that's it for number eight let's move on to number seven at number seven we have clothing. Now, if you play Grand Theft Auto Online and you visit the clothing store a lot, or even if you've visited there a few times, you will very quickly realize just how fast you can burn through your money by buying either the wrong items or just by not paying attention to what you're doing. If you're making your character an outfit, you can easily spend hundreds of thousands of dollars by pretty much mistake by just not realizing how much some of the clothing items cost. Now, if you go to the Rockstar created outfits as well, you are going to spend a ton of money for a pre-made outfit that you're really not going to be able to modify. I would always recommend buying all your clothing items individually and making your own outfits rather than purchasing the outfits that Rockstar has made for you. You're going to save a lot of money by doing this and honestly I would just avoid buying a lot of clothing for your characters. There's some things in this game that you just don't really need to do. Obviously I'm not saying make your character look horrible, don't dress nicely, stuff like that, but don't go crazy with it. Don't be buying like literally every single thing unless you're very late into the game. But if you're new into GTA Online, there's definitely much better things that you can purchase than clothing. So pay attention. Don't spend too much money at the clothing store. Here at number six, we have redundant vehicles. For example, there is no reason to own a Stromberg when the Toreador exists. Now, there is some degree of an argument here because the Stromberg is only $1.8 million now and the, and the Toreador costs $4,250,000. So it is quite a bit more expensive. It's, it's over double the price, but the Toreador is over twice as good as the Stromberg because it has the front mount of machine guns that do a ton of damage. It has the missiles which the Stromberg has too, and they're about the same machine guns and they're about the same missiles. However, the Toreador also has the rocket boost, which is a huge bonus, and it is also a four-seater, so you can see two more players in it as well. I believe the Toreador actually has a little bit more armor than the Stromberg as well, which makes it just even that little bit better. Another example of this is the P996 laser. You can buy this thing for six and a half million dollars, but why would you do that when the F-160 Raiju exists? Because the brand new F-160 Raiju is better than the laser in like literally every single way. It has more armor, it's faster, it has VTOL mode. The only thing that it doesn't maybe do better are the weaponry, but the weapons on the laser have been nerfed anyway. So it's not like the Raiju is like worse than the laser in any way. I would definitely pick the Raju over the laser, especially considering that if you don't have the trade price for the Raju, it's only 300 grand more than the laser. And if you do have the trade price for the Raju, it's like 1.5 mil less than the laser. So there's just no reason in purchasing vehicles that don't really have a purpose in GTA anymore because there is another vehicle that does their job better than they do. So a laser is a great example of this. The Stromberg is a great example of this. And there's many, many others as well. So you just try to avoid buying redundant vehicles that don't really matter, that don't really help you out too much in online. At number five, we have safes inside properties and interior modifications within your properties. A lot of these are completely worthless. Now, the safe is entirely useless. You can open up the safe in like your CEO office and look at your money that's in there. And that is literally it. It is a purely cosmetic modification. A lot of the interior stuff that you can do as well is completely useless and there's not really any point in having it. Unless you have a little bit more money, obviously if you're just strapped for cash, you're probably not gonna modify the interior at all. However, I would still just avoid modifying the interiors of your businesses and your properties because you're never really going to go there and spend a lot of time inside. If I ever go to my CEO office, I'm running to the front desk, talking to the lady and exporting the mixed goods, or I'm running to the computer going and sourcing CEO cargo or vehicle cargo and I'm leaving. I, I'm not spending much time in there at all whatsoever. So I don't really think that interior modifications or safes and properties, that sort of stuff is worth it at all. I would completely avoid that. Same with the high-end apartments. There's high-end apartments you can buy for like literally probably like 600,000 plus dollars over an equivalent high-end apartment. For example, like in Eclipse Towers, there's like the custom interior ones that you can do. There's no point in buying those because you're not gonna spend that much time inside of your apartment. If you are going to buy one, I would only buy like one. I, I would buy one nice apartment and the rest of them 
yeah, you just buy it for the garage. Don't spend any extra money for sure. But interior options and safes and things like that that are just cosmetic are completely useless. Do not buy them. Here at number four, we have the Brocade 6x6. Now, the Brocade 6x6, don't get me wrong, if you get it from the Los Santos Drug Wars missions, it is great. However, do not purchase the Brocade 6x6 on Warstock Cash and Carry. I made this mistake thinking that I could actually skip the first Los Santos Drug Wars missions, the first six of them that you have to do in order to get the Brocade for free. In fact, you actually get paid to get it, really. It is going to take a little bit of time. But if you purchase the Brocade 6x6 for $1,450,000, which is the cost on Warstock, you do not get access to the Acid Lab and you still have to do the Los Santos Drug Wars missions. Now, I was under the impression that I could spend an additional 700 grand to get the Brocade 6x6 and it would skip having to do the Los Santos Drug Wars missions. I was wrong. I, I still had to do them and I spent an extra 700 grand on my Brocade 6x6 to try to get the Acid Lab faster. It didn't work. Do not buy the Brocade 6x6 off of Warstock Cash and Carry. Please, I am begging you, don't make the same mistake that I did. It is a huge mistake. Do not do it. Please do not do it. That's it for number four. On to number three. And number three, we have the Ocelot Virtue. Now, you can actually get paid to get an Ocelot Virtue for free by completing all of the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC missions. So, obviously, these two kind of go together with the Brocade 6x6 and the Ocelot Virtue. Complete the first six to get the Brocade 6x6 and complete the last five, I believe it is, to get the Ocelot Virtue for absolutely free. And you will also unlock the trade price for the Virtue. Now, if you go to just purchase the Virtue without doing these missions, it's going to cost you just under $3 million for the Ocelot Virtue. And it's a great car, but if you can get it for free, you absolutely should. And in fact, you get paid for completing all of the missions in order to get it. And you just get it for free at the end. You should definitely not mess around with it you should just go and do the missions get your free ocelot virtue and call it a day and then if you want to purchase them you're also going to unlock the trade price which means the price of the virtue is just over 2.2 million dollars which is much better than just under three that's it for the virtue at number three on to number two at number two we have pegasus vehicles most pegasus vehicles in this game are absolutely worthless to own a great example of this is the taxi you can purchase the taxi for just over five hundred thousand dollars and you get nothing for it. You do not unlock the taxi business for it. You can literally go to the taxi business and do the taxi stuff without having to purchase a taxi in the first place. So it's completely worthless unless you wanna have a taxi that you can call up and drive around in GTA. But for 500K, it's not like worth it at all. Now beyond the taxi, most of the Pegasus vehicles in this game are useless. Like you can purchase the Titan, you can purchase planes, boats, all of that sort of stuff they're all pretty much worthless and you will not use them nearly as much as you actually think that you will i have several boats in gta that are within pegasus and that i can call up anytime that i want to use them guess what i never want to use them they're so worthless to have and you can spend a ton of money on pegasus vehicles that you're literally never going to look at after the first time you call them and I, I'm not kidding you. And you probably think I'm exaggerating this. Maybe I just play differently than everybody else does, but Pegasus vehicles are a huge waste of money and time. Do not buy Pegasus vehicles. They are generally quite worthless. But at number one, the biggest waste of money in Grand Theft Auto Online is the Orbital Cannon upgrade and Orbital Cannoning players. The Orbital Cannon upgrade for the facility costs an additional 900,000 on top of whatever else you have in your facility. And for shooting it, it's gonna cost you $500,000 for a manual shot, which is an unguided shot, which isn't even guaranteed to hit a player, or $750,000 per shot, which is a lock and is guaranteed to hit a player. The Orbital Cannon is a huge waste of money, guys. I don't know why rocks are added this into the game i guess literally just to scam people into shooting it and then running out of money so they hopefully buy shark cards but the orbital cannon is trash it's so worthless if you were able to shoot it for free once every 48 minutes it would maybe be kind of worth it but for 500k to 750k per shot per 48 minutes on top of spending nine hundred thousand dollars for it it is such a waste of money do not buy an orbital cannon please i beg of you so anyway guys that's it for my top 10 biggest wastes of money in grand theft auto online 
There are a lot of ways to waste money in this game, but these are some of the ones that I feel like are very modern and that people need to know about, particularly the Ocelot Virtue and the Brocade 6x6, but most of the things that I said in this video are quite relevant to Grand Theft Auto Online today. So make sure you avoid these if you want to be successful in GTA and you want to stack up your money as quickly as possible. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, if not dislike, of course. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.